Have you ever seen a webcam that is literally the size of your head? Well, I think that might be what we got today. This is the Neuroom Auto Framing 2K, which is like a 1440p webcam. We're gonna be checking this out today and apparently it's for conferencing, but they sent it over to see if it is viable for streamers. And I think it even comes with a remote. So uh, let's unbox it and let's get started. But before we do that, let me tell you about our sponsors over at Lightstream. Lightstream is the solution that you need if you are a con Console streamer. If you're wanting to be able to use professional overlays, put things that are on your stream and not have to have a PC to do any of the setup, you could do everything directly from your console and have a great looking stream, Lightstream is the service for you. Right now you can use my coupon code DarkenSiris to get 25% off your first three months of membership. And you can use that even if you already had Lightstream. Go ahead and see all the videos I've done on them in the past. I love that brand. Go check it out. I fully support it. And uh, thank you to Lightstream for sponsoring this video. All right, the Neuroom webcam. Let's go and unbox it. I don't have an, a top down. Normally I do top downs for reviews and unboxings, but I don't because I'm still in the process of moving. We move this week to the new house. So check it out on all my socials. We'll be doing a whole bunch of social posts anyway. All right, so opening the box, we have a little bit of stuff to remove. Looks like we got some packaging materials right here. I'll move that out of the way. And you can obviously see this webcam. Let's get all the cables out and the remote. Before we look at all that, USB-A to usb -C see obviously a removable cable that's really nice it comes with a remote i'm sure we can figure out it's got hdr function i didn't know it had an hdr function this is gonna be cool all right that's that and then now pull out the webcam here's that and here's here's the webcam this is the neuroom auto framing 2k hdr but as you can see on the back it's actually a usb c power right there that takes it on the bottom you do get a quarter 20 thread and it can pinch go ahead and sit on your monitor which is how we're going to test it today i think there's even a little privacy shutter included oh look at that little privacy shutter now just as a small thing these were supposed to be for like web conferencing and so i think there's a little ir sensor here to be able to go ahead and judge like auto exposure in the room so that makes sure that you're in focus and in exposure so uh, let's get it plugged in and see what it looks like on screen now just for reference you're looking at a zve 10 with a 16 millimeter lens so if you're going to compare the two i would be very you know weird about trying to do that but let's Let's connect it and see what options we have. See what the quality's like. It's an interesting setup, honestly. Like, I like how it's a removable USB-C, so if you got like really far away from your computer, you can use a long cable, which I like, because what if you're, you know, doing it at a conference and you're in a big conference room, but your main computer's maybe in another location? That's pretty cool. All right, so let me go ahead and get it set up. That's one thing I don't like. It doesn't pivot, it doesn't twist side to side, so you'd have to actually have mounted it onto something. Trusty dusty tripod. We might use, let's plug it in USB-A. Do you want to stop recording? No, I want to keep recording. Uh, it's blinking a light. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and add a video capture here. Call this new cam. It's called the Neuroam Webcam V21. Whoa! I don't know if that's fitting the screen. I think it is. Whoa! Okay, let me let me switch over so you can see what I see. Bro, look. Okay, so if you're seeing me, I should be in the bottom right corner. Yeah, okay. This is it. Whoa, look how sharp. It's obviously overexposed. That's fine. We can we can fix all that. Holy crap, bro. All right, let me let me make sure that this is not gonna like crazy overexpose. That's nuts. All right, let's change device default to custom. We can do it at resolution. Uh, looks like we've got 1920 by 1080 as the option. It's supposed to be a 2K webcam, but I don't see that. Uh, but it is 60 frames per second. I can put it on 59.94, which will match what this video is. Um, cool video format. It's just MJPEG. Nothing crazy. We'll leave it on color space defaults. So that'll do everything else. Let's see what we've got under configure video. All we get is a brightness slider and we do get an auto exposure slider. That's good. Oh, so I can lower this down. Doesn't have auto zoom. It has a zoom slider, but it doesn't work. Okay, so we obviously can adjust this a little bit and that's gonna impact frame rates. Okay, so the lower we get, better quality it looks like. It looks like it's still auto white balance and it looks like it's doing okay. Let me put it as default. Yeah, that over, that just 
blows it out. Okay, crazy. So maybe let's leave it right here and let's just turn the brightness. No, we'll adjust a little bit of this. Let's turn the brightness down and let's go up one more exposure level. Oh, and then the frame rate drops. There's 60. I think we can probably save a little bit of that. Man, this looks, holy, how's the autofocus? Minimum focus distance. It looks like it's a forever focus. All right, let's see if I get closer. Hello everyone. It's definitely auto white balance because you can see it changing colors. As I get closer, it's adjusting it. And then when I show the wall, it's gonna adjust for that. Look like, look at that little red. And I'm just like straight up blue. So it is auto white balance, but it's quick. Oh, look how sharp, bro. This looks fantastic. It said 2K. I'm kind of miffed that we don't see it in 2K, that I don't have that option, but that might just be something I'm not doing right. All right, so this is what you're seeing right now. This is my nice webcam, okay? That's the ZV-E10. What's up, peeps? Uh, and then this is the other, this is the webcam, okay? That's this thing, look. There's my ZV-E10 right there. All right, so I'm looking at the remote by the way, and it has so many options. I'm gonna click the HDR option and then the camera breaks. Oh, it turns HDR. Wait, it turned H. Look how much clearer. Let me turn that off. It takes a second, obviously, for it to recognize. Okay, so this is HDR off, flatter color spectrum, and then you have HDR here. HDR looks nice. Look at the look at the contrast. I wonder what it looks like. And let's turn off HDR. What does that look like? It does make a difference. Holy stuff, man. And that's a wide field of view. Let me put it right under where the lenses for my Sigma 16. Sorry guys, I'm gonna, I'm making you sick. Sorry, this is about right under where my Sigma 16 mil is. And that's a tighter shot than this. So it's definitely a wider field of view. I wonder, can we make this look any better? Let's go in here, let's apply, I can do HDR tone map right? I'm not going to worry about HDR tone map. Let's add, let's go in and actually add a color correction. Let's see if we can adjust some of these colors. Let me straighten this up a little bit. Let's reset to defaults. I think I can pull, maybe not the gamma. Let's pull the contrast up just a little bit. Gamma up just a little bit. And then if I bump the saturation, I think I might need to pull the saturation back ever so slightly. I think it's just a little too saturated. I think that looks fantastic. Look, this is a webcam. All right, what other options do we have on this thing? Uh, there's this button. Oh, it's to flip it. Oh, that that's cool. A click of a button, flip it. Hey, what's the other one? Oh, whoa. Okay, so it actually flipped it to, does that mean that I take this? Let's flip it. That's crazy overexposed, right? Let's see. Oh, look, it's trying to, it wants to be on device default so it works. Just take, I mean, obviously it's not 60 because I got the exposure up. And my key lights, by the way, these lights, you see I got a panel there and a panel there. These key lights are on 1% and that's because my Sony ZV-10 is like F1.4 100 ISO. There's the quality difference and I want you to really look like that's crazy. It's crazy sharp. It might even need just a little more saturation to kind of match. Let's pull that up just a little bit. This looks fantastic, guys. So this is a sound test, uh, testing the microphone on this webcam. Obviously there's four microphones, one, two, three, four microphones in the front of this. This is a sound test of the microphone. I'm about two, maybe a foot and a half, almost two feet away from the microphone. And it's gotta have auto adjusting levels, you would think. All right, a couple more things on the uh, actual piece right here. If I click menu, nothing happens. Auto framing. You're kidding, you're kidding. And so it'll just frame up, bro. So if I move over here, what is this doing? Let me go back over here. And this is this is like no NVIDIA broadcast, none of that stuff. And it's just auto framing. Bro, and it's like zooming in too. So if I turn it off, it goes back. There's a zoom button, but the zoom button breaks the camera for some reason. Not really sure what that's all about. Let's deactivate and reactivate. I think I had to like disconnect it and reconnect it last time to get this thing to work after I press this button. It says there's a menu button. That's what I'm pressing is like a little hamburger piece right there. I don't, I don't have the menu. Okay. Another thing is there is a hide video button. So it turns off the feed. So if you're in like a conference, like this is cool. So again, this camera is built for like conferencing. So it comes with this cool little remote. I I keep breaking it every time I press specific things. So I'm not really sure what that's all about. Okay, I'm really confused because I think I might have broke. I genuinely think I broke it. So here's the webcam. It is $129. Here it is again, it's a 1080p, it's the same thing. It has a USB-C to USB-A like little adapter piece, which is really cool. So if you need to plug it into something like a MacBook or to a USB-C port, it's neat, it's already included. But $129, it says it does 1440p, 30 frames per second, but I couldn't get it 
to work. Um, everything else worked great. Auto light correction, live streaming, uh, the remote is probably like so unique, but honestly, I think the best part of all of this, the HDR looks fantastic. And for $129, you're really getting into the territory of like Elgato face cam, but being a person who has a C920, that's 50 bucks. This is actually better quality. Um, it's, it's wider. The HDR looks fantastic. And I have to say, if you're a person who's going to use a webcam from like across the room and you want to be able to adjust some things like HDR, maybe you want to do like maybe it popping in portrait mode or something or the auto framing piece. I could see how this remote could really shift someone's use case for this, this webcam. So do I recommend this webcam for the price point? I think it's a little expensive. And is there a coupon going right now? There's no coupon going right now. I thought there might be, but um, check the link in the description. I'll leave it down there so you can go ahead and check it out. But do I recommend this, this webcam? As with all things, I think it's use case based. But if you're a person who has like multi-cam setups in your room and you want a really nice webcam that you can put your own USB-C cable to for as far as you want, it mounts quarter 20, you can do a whole bunch of things to manipulate it. This webcam, I am pleasantly surprised. The color looks great. The auto framing thing is really cool. If you're a business person looking for a webcam for a conference, this would live perfectly in a conference room. I could really see how auto framing could really work. Being able to like mute the mic at a button click, you know, mute the camera at a button click to turn all that off, plus getting a privacy shutter built in. This is fantastic. So if you want to check this out, check the link in the description. And uh, yeah, if you're curious about other reviews that would be fantastic for you to upgrade with. Check out the playlist that I'll put right here. It's a fantastic place where you can go ahead and see all the content that I've covered on other hardware that might be fantastic for your streaming setup. I'm going to say fantastic again. Fantastic. We'll see you over there.